Uh, thanks a lot for year nine for watching our videos. And uh, thanks a lot also for doing the work we give you on the Google Classroom. Now today we have uh, another lesson. <coughs> Very interesting charity appeal. You are writing a letter to appeal to the public to extend a hand of charity so that you can help those who are less privileged. Now today, uh, I want us to know what that is and even go further to underscore the grammar aspects that are there in this text. This is a letter of charity appeal to raise money for the snow leopards threatened with extinction. I have never seen a snow leopard myself, but I understand the snow leopards are in the polar regions where we have the snow. Where we have snow, the snow leopards are a rare species. Now, that is the image of the snow leopard. go straight to the reading of this text. Dear supporter, the solitary and elusive snow leopard has lived and disturbed in the mountains of Central Asia for thousands of years. That is background information. Background information. Background information. When you are writing a charity appeal letter, the first and foremost thing to do is to lay your background. Dear supporter, you give information about this, uh, whatever you are writing about, you give the background information that can lay foundation. Dear supporter, the solitary and elusive snow leopard has lived and disturbed in the mountains of Central Asia for thousands of years. Then you come to the second part, which is an appeal. The second part is appeal. Read. But poaching and pressures from unsustainable human development are threatening the future of this stunning and unique creature. Poaching and what? Pressures from unsustainable human development are threatening the future of this uh, stunning and unique creature. It is extremely, it is a, extremely vulnerable. You must say something about this, why it is uh, threatened. It is extremely vulnerable to the activities of people. And it is now classed as endangered. So there is the use of the word vulnerable and the use of the word endangered. You are appealing because it is under threat. You talked about poaching and pressures from unsustainable human development. People are developing the area unsustainable. Now, <clears throat> it has been classed as endangered. Populations of Snow leopards are in decline throughout their natural habitat, with as few as 3,000 now thought to be left in the Himalayan kingdom of Nepal. Life is very hard for them in these rugged mountains with declining food shortages or food sources. 
So, it is vital that we act now or risk losing them in the wild forever. Will you help us protect the last remaining snow leopards in the Himalayas? From there now, in the next paragraph, he'll give how the money will be spent. How the money will be spent. Why are you asking for assistance? What is the appeal for? A four-man patrol team monitors the population, checking known snow leopard areas to keep track of what is happening to them. The team advises locals on how to protect their livestock so that the snow leopards are not shot in retaliation. When people retaliate, the snow leopards come and attack their livestock. Then people retaliate. In the process, they shoot them and kill them. You know, when the leopards come attacking sheep and goats. Money is needed. Now, the last paragraph. Money is needed urgently to enable this team to continue their essential work in saving the few remaining snow leopards. By sending us a donation, you will be helping us to protect the beautiful snow leopard. Your generosity really could make a huge difference. This is a text by John Baker, Species Program Manager, WWF. So, what I have given you here in, is the structure, the order of content in the text. The first is the background information we need to know about the snow leopards. The second is the appeal for charity. And the third, is how the money will be spent. <clears throat> now, let us look at the grammar aspect. We have adjectives used in the letter to describe the snow leopards. You can identify any. The adjectives that are used in this letter to describe snow leopards. You can see words like vulnerable, endangered, the last remaining, beautiful, solitary, elusive, and disturbed, stunning, unique, so when you see these adjectives, it is important that you know what an adjective is. It's the word that describes a noun. It gives a description. So there's no leopard is described as being solitary, elusive, and disturbed, stunning creature, unique. But it is vulnerable, it is endangered. This is a phrase here. Last remaining, it's a phrase. It's not one word, so we call it um, adjectivo. Adjectivo. If it was a, an adverb, we call it adverbio. It's adjectivo. Beautiful is an adjective. So they spell out. The reason why they are used here is that they spell out the message that the leopard is worth protecting and is in urgent need of being so. The second aspect that we shall look at are the intensifiers. This one uh, I have to write. 
intensifiers intensifiers what is an intensifier now an intensifier is an adverb or an adverbial it's an adverb or an adverbial that strengthens the meaning of other expressions and show emphasis so what you need to know is that it is an adverb or it's an adverbial Adverbs are just words and adverbials are phrases. What is their work? Strengthen. They strengthen the meaning of other expressions. We have words that are commonly used as intensifiers, words like absolutely, absolutely. Words like completely. Completely. Words like extremely. Extremely. Words like highly. Highly. Really. Really. Totally. Totally. What is common with these words here? The original word or the base word was absolute, high, complete, real, extreme, total. Then you add ly. It becomes absolutely, highly, completely, really, extremely. So you see here, with words like really and totally, they originally ended with L, and now we add another L. So a word that is an adjective, when you add L-Y, it becomes an adverb. In our next part, we shall look at the exceptions, those that do not end with L-Y. I'll be back.